So let's see. April, you got your taxes in, or you should have. You shoveled some <laughs> snow, and you probably shouldn't have. We did. We saw lots and lots of bundled up baseball, and every April really is a box of chocolates. The comedian Jim Gaffigan said, what you don't want is that one that tastes like there's toothpaste inside. So let's talk of the April that is now behind us with one evening still to be played. And they are the three words that are important to our female demographic, as always. <laughs> John Paul Morosi. I'm still trying to figure that out, Keith. I'm still, it just, it just still rolls trying. right off the tongue. Of course, you know him from Fox Sports and uh, MLB TV. And so let's talk of April. And JP will will talk of you with you first about this Tigers start, in which they find themselves 11 and 15 out of the gate. Well, John, one name I'm loving right now is Jamer Candelaria. What he has done as a young, switch-hitting third baseman, they have found, I believe, the man for the future at that position for the Tigers. Uh, a great trade, of course, last July. And, and Simo, I, I love the swing, the balance. I talked today to Ramon Santiago about Jamer's work ethic, his focus. And, and Ramon believes, the word that Ramon used to me, Simo, is elite. Yes. He believes he can be an elite player on both sides of the ball and maybe even an all-star this year. I'm going to agree with with my, my former team, yes. Ramon Santiago. Guys, listen, I've got a chance to watch this young man uh, going, dating back to last year in September when he when he got traded over to, from the Cubs to the Tigers. And this young man is mature well beyond his years. He's always seemed to be in control of every at-bat. He slashes to both from both right. sides of the plate. He's a gap hitter. Uh, I just love the fact that he's a sponge as well, John Palmeroso. He, he's a guy that... When you start to talk to him, he has you have his undivided attention, and you can tell that he's soaking all of it in. Those are the guys you want to play with, and those are the guys that you root for. Quick thought on where they are as a team, though. I mean, the division is what the division is. The Tigers are in second place, three games out. Well, for me, this Tiger team, if you have – guys, we've, we've watched this team for the first month of the season. There's one thing that is for sure. That is one thing that is for certain. This team does not quit. JP, they fight. They Coming into the season, everybody's talked about this team losing 100 games. Well, the 25 guys inside the clubhouse, they don't believe it. They're not buying into that. They are looking at each other man to man and saying, listen, if we go out and we play nine hard innings, nine full hard innings every day, they're going to take their chances. And I like it. I like what I'm seeing. Kind of reminds me of that 06 motto of our yes. Tiger team. Don't quit. We may not have the big names. We don't have the big names, but we got the biggest heart, and we're going to get after you every day. That's what this team does. And, Craig, I think two things the Tigers had to acquire in the last year or so, direction yes. and attitude. Mm -hmm. They've got both those things. Yes, I think they, they, they now know where this is heading. They know it may take some more time, but there's an overall ethic that we're seeing to the way they're playing that I think is very refreshing to a lot of Tigers fans. All right, quick thought, real quick thought. No team that was under 500 on May 1st last year right. made the playoffs. How much of a disturbing trend is that for the likes of the Dodgers and the Twins and the Nationals? I think for the Dodgers, it's real. I, I'm, with them, I'm looking at their rotation, and certainly Kershaw, we know all about him, but I, I wonder where they're headed long-term. The Nationals have to get healthy first with Eaton being on the DL. All right, uh, JP, thank you. We My look pleasure. forward to seeing you on MLB TV and on Fox Sports as well.